Hi guys, it's Andy the GD Script Dude and I'm going to run you through my latest project here. I'm working again on my logic uh, simulation project and I'm making use of the graph node in Godot. And uh, I've uh, produced a tutorial all about it on my website gdscript.com and I'm very proud of this tutorial, it's the best I've ever done, I think. So let's just uh, talk you through it. Like, we're gonna, we are using the graph node and the graph edit nodes. The graph edit, it, it gives you this, um, this uh, region on the screen, which is like a, a control container that you can drop in the the graph nodes into and it can display a grid and it's got various things like zooming in and out and snapping to the grid and here's my code click there and you can see there's a lot of uh, I've created a lot of functions there and I'm talking about it in uh, uh, overview overview in my my uh, tutorial there and it really explains it in great detail but concisely so you can really understand how to do it yourself it's based on extending a vbox and container in my one so if you go click there this isn't a great presentation is it and uh, just play it let's, let's just go ahead and play it see we've got our file menu we got a, a simple menu there file click file you can go new one open it and save what we've got and that stuff and then on i clicked here nothing happened why not and then we can click on these things this menu see that's the problem isn't it that's open but it won't close bugs so we, we can click these and they are like being spawned this new like uh what are they called i can't even remember anymore let's look no and anyway it doesn't matter and turn back <laughs> we're back in these are like the the nodes right and uh we can drop them down by clicking on these buttons that we've set up here these are like uh customized what are they called they they are like uh, graph nodes graph nodes that's right and there's input pins look at that there's one there one there one there these are inputs these are outputs we can kind of output to inputs we can move them around we can click here to delete the connection I think in the documentation it says you're supposed to drag it across. Let's try that. Yeah, that works. In my tutorial, my tutorial, I said uh, just click. That sometimes works for me. Click. Yeah. See, I didn't have to drag. Anyway, you got input to output, and these have a a note a type right that the type is actually an integer value which is actually i guess you could relate that to uh you could correlate it to a, a an in enum value like they like nor one two three four five six that kind of thing and if you try to drag it to one that is having a different integer type value it won't it won't try to connect to it like these are all like the same values, Laura. But if they weren't, they wouldn't try to connect to these points. Let's do a hanging one and release, see what happens. Yeah, it's gone. Bing. So, yeah, there we are. And uh, we got lots of things there. They, hey, look at that. When I click this, normally when you spawn a new you one of these graph nodes they will be in the, the that position there right in the corner but i'm going to use 
I use the mouse position, I put them there. Okay, close that. And uh, can we see our code? So we go there and we go to the scripts and you can see the code we have. Look at, the, look at that. It's a very simple main and part. Part is actually a script attached to these nodes, which I, there's nothing there yet. It's just there in case I want to add the functionality to the, these nodes. So in the main, we have, uh, we extend the VBOX container. Look at that, look at the, so we have it. Let's go up. I seem to be, oh, I know what's going on. I had it in the annoyance free mode, which was actually more annoying. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so now without that, we can see our scene tree. We got our main node, which is, uh, yeah, most, you know, the tutorials you see, they say, I'm going to start with a control node. And uh, why, you know, just start with what is best suited for your app or what you're doing. So in my case, I'm using a HBox container. I keep saying HBox. It's a VBox container. And then we're going to drop things into it. So we want a main menu at the top, don't we? Oh, really not displaying this very well, am I? Zoom in, zoom, zoom, zoom in. So we got we got two parts to this. We got our like uh, control. Uh, blah, 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 blah. We got our top menu there with our file and stuff, file and help, and this or our thing, our icons that we can click on to add things into the main the main the main uh, the what is this this is a, called a graph edit area which we've expanded out let's let's find that too many things going on here yeah there we go we got this one that's our m what is it called m oh menu of course let's look at the menu it's the top bar, it's like a horizontal container. Oh, M, I know why, because margin container. Go to custom constants and we got margin right, 10, 10, 10, 10 pixels. Otherwise it like everything's cramped up against the corners of the screen. Run it again, look at that. See, our oh, file and help, there's some margin around there. Everywhere there's margin, looks really good. Stop that. And yeah, so we got this horizontal container and then expand it out. We got some buttons. These are toolbar buttons, this one. And we call it file. See the text there is file. And on hover, we got underlining, blah, blah, blah. And we. Yeah, we've got signals attached, right? So on all of these buttons, we got on the file button down, signal, click on that, bing, bing, bing. That should be it, somewhere there. Yeah, so we, um, where is it? Do it again. Anyway, <laughs> we've got our signals everywhere. Every time you add uh, control node like this, you you gonna you gonna add a signal, right? So signals, yeah. Well, there we go. We got on button down for all of our buttons. This could be a long, long video. Anyway, and um, top bar. So we got our file and then help. We don't actually do anything there. It just seems like a normal thing to do. Like we got help up here. There go. That's help do something similar the next way we got a control this is just see that it's using uh, the spacing it's spacing it out so what we do here we on the horizontal size flags we go it's always on fill 
but we click on expand if we didn't expand it, it's contracting so we expand right pushes it out and I want to get these icons in the middle and so we have another one collapse that control 2 there see there's another one expanding size flags horizontal expand expand and then we because our spacing for the oh it's complicated isn't it our, our spacing for the um the file and help uh these uh link buttons they are spaced apart according to the the constants there of separation of 20 pixels but for these i didn't want that so i added actually another horizontal box container and the const con <laughs> the custom constants separation was zero okay so that compressed them together rather than being 20 pixels apart and then here they all are and of course we've got signals we connect the signals easily by clicking there and adding to our script our signals all right so that is a lot of explanation just about the top part of our main scene which is that menu okay so when you click these something happens in the main scene there's a signal i clicked on it and if i click on the, look at this so you can see by zooming in file and help click on them yeah we're gonna fire off signals for them so okay the next thing is we added our graph graph what's it called it's called graph edit and this is where we are gonna do all our juicy stuff about adding our like our nodes and connecting them up so the key thing here is the size flags were expanding there you can see expand horizontal expand vertical it fills that up and then we can go ahead and start coding i can probably hold this video now and say that this is the part one and you can see everything there all the code or at least for the main scene and let's give you a demo of what it does like this we click these click 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 and then it, it produces these instances of our parts and we can wire them up we can do all this stuff let's do something interesting all right oops move that and okay non-selected select this delete it press delete this is all functionality which we have now put that one there connect and now we go file save up oh, let's go to data here before i did this let's overwrite this file name of something stupid like x xc zxc i should say save it no real feedback needs to improve on that let's get out of this see if it saved it and let's play again and try to load that again file open up to this data area grab it open was that what we did i don't think it was what the heck remember this let's try it again file save did it save i don't know maybe i've got a bug i don't know run again let's go file open up and go to this place this one open i think that's it it worked well anyway this is the first video about this and that's probably enough for now so 
I will see you in the next video. And like and subscribe. See you. Bye.